Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to watch The Big Bang Theory Season 1, Episode 13 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this TV show really are. Hi, can you help me? I was writing an email and the A key got stuck. Now it's just going, ah! <laughs> What'd you spill on it? Nothing. Diet Coke. <laughs> And yogurt. <laughs> a little nail polish. I'll take a look at it. Shut but how? Like, it's, okay, am I the only weird one that, like, I've never cracked a phone screen, I've never spilled anything on a keyboard, or, like, like uh, uh, everything I own technology-wise, I haven't dropped it or, like, done anything wrong, but, I mean, how? I don't think it's an engineering thing that, like, when you have your phone, I mean, maybe a little bit more for me now, because I know how much work went into making this. That, like, I, I hold it like it's really precious. I'm like, you cannot drop this thing. All the man hours and all of that time went into creating this iPhone, and you just let it fall on the sidewalk and crack the screen. Like, what are you guys doing? Even engineers have our, like, go-to IT person, and... It's the combination of we don't want to solve the problem and we just don't actually know how to fix it if it's something going on with our computers. So we end up just passing it along to somebody else because we're lazy. Next question. What is the quantum mechanical effect used to encode data on hard disk drives? Uh, Howard. And of course the answer is giant magneto resistance. Right. Hey, I buzzed in. And I answered. It's called teamwork. <laughs> Don't you think I should answer the engineering questions? I am an engineer. By that logic, I should answer all the anthropology questions because I'm a mammal. <laughs> this is not what a typical like nerd household looks like. And I, I can tell you between me and my friends, we don't do this. Like when we leave work, or like if we're not in class, we, we are done. <laughs> like this is not how our normal like Saturday evenings go. Usually whenever I get together with my friends who are engineers or physicists or like any sort of scientist, we just get hammered and play Mario Kart or play board games. So, how do you feel? Nice and loose? Come to play? Got your game face on? Are you ready? Uh, yeah. You know, you don't have to stay for the whole thing. Oh, no, no, I want to. Sounds really interesting. How many people did they get to actually show up to this thing? This is the 29th annual physics bowl. I, I'll tell you right now, just any professor is not going to show up to this event just because they have free time. Like this is not how they want to spend their enjoyment. I can tell you from personal experience that I don't want to go to business meetings and I get paid to go to those. So I guarantee that these guys who have like no obligation to be there highly doubt any of them would really show up unless it's like one or two of your friends that are supporting you. 4.1855 times 10 to the seventh ergs per calorie. Prevost theory of exchanges. Lambda equals one over pi r squared n. 760 degrees Celsius. The approximate temperature of the young lady in the front row. <laughs> can, can I just say that all of those answers that they just threw around are complete, like, did, nope. <laughs> I don't know, like, I mean, I'm trying to look at this one question on the thing, like, something temperature does an iron magnet feel the cure? Look, I have no clue what any of those answers were. The only thing that sounded remotely familiar was lambda equals 1 over pi r squared n, and, oh goodness, I haven't used that thing in forever, but I can tell you in certainty that you don't really need to know these things, like, it's not so much that all those, like, uh, physicists and I mean, the, the random people Sheldon has on his team. Like, it's not like the, those people are actually paid to know this information. It's more just like they have extra curiosity and this is what they choose to use their time for. But like, in, in no way are, are they actually like applying all this knowledge that they have in this physics bowl to their everyday lives. Like, this is stuff, like if you go to like Model UN, if you're in like in high school or something, that's all extra things that you don't need to know in like your regular day-to-day -day school life. So all this stuff here, it's all information that they don't actually use every day of their lives, but it's like they just have it in the back of their mind. All right, Madonna was married to this Ridgemont High alum. Oh my God, Sean Penn! How do you know these things? I go outside and I talk to people. Who is Sean Penn? 
I just had a crazy realization. Like the questions that Penny is asking right now, like th to me, these make less sense than the physics bowl questions that I couldn't even answer for you. So I'm now I'm trying to imagine like if I'm talking about just really, really like like deep like quantum like electrical engineering stuff. Is that what I sound like to most people? <laughs> these are two very different worlds. I, I have no like confidence that anybody with a STEM degree can tell you about the relationship between Madonna and Sean Penn, but they'll all tell you like perfectly Newton's third law and where it's applied and how to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want to see more Big Bang Theory, let me know which season and episode in the comments down below. Or if there's any other movies, TV shows, or anime you guys want me to watch, let me know and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.